maybe teaching. Maybe doctors should be teaching. Doctor, doctrine. It comes from education. A doctor used to be a teacher, or should be. Teach us, maybe. Educate us. That's it. We don't need you to fix us. That's, our, that's in our ballpark. That's on, our, that's on us. That's on our backs. What we eat, how we breathe, how we think, how we emote, how we rest, these are the master steps. Now, if I'm missing something, you guys, call me up. Let me know. What am I missing here? This seems so self-evident to me. It seems so obvious to me. If you're seeing something that I'm missing, I'd love to hear from, from you. 844-236-6010. If there's one health challenge that is the quintessential example of how easy it is to reverse and control the development of disease, it's diabetes, a leading cause of health misery, maybe the leading cause of health misery after digestive issues. And it's an issue that I get more letters about than anything else. And I love diabetes because it's so easy. It's such a, it's such a beautiful way to exemplify or to model how simple it is to reverse disease. Blood sugar is flexible. It changes with how we eat. It changes with how we supplement. It changes with our nutrition. It changes with our stress levels. Blood sugar is so simple to control. Diabetes is insulin resistance disease, type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance disease. I'm not talking about type 1 now, although that, you can deal with that too. But type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance disease, which by definition tells you if you can eliminate insulin resistance, you won't have the disease. In other words, if you can resensitize the cells to insulin, your diabetes will go away. If you can make the cells more sensitive to the hormone insulin, your diabetes will, by definition, go away. That's the only thing we need to know. Are there any drugs that do it? No. There's drugs that can force your body to make more insulin. There's drugs that can force your body to dump out more glucose. There's drugs that can force cells to do whatever they want them to force cells to do, but that's not going to help your diabetes, and that's why nobody gets cured of diabetes by a doctor. But you know what? Dr. Wallach has done it. I don't even want to say Dr. Wallach is on it. Scratch that. We've done it through things that Dr. Wallach has said or that I've said. Because it's in the body's nature to heal. If we can resensitize our insulin, resensitize our cells to insulin, and we can go from insulin resistance to insulin sensitivity, no more diabetes. It's as simple as that. Which means if you're serious about reversing your type 2 diabetes or your metabolic syndrome, the stuff that comes after the blood sugar gets messed up. That is Alzheimer's disease and kidney disease and skin problems and uh, 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 fatigue and high blood pressure and heart disease. These are all the things that follow, that follow uh, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar. If you're serious about reversing your type 2 diabetes or your metabolic syndrome, I'm telling you now, all you need to ask or do, you need to figure out, how do I resensitize my insulin? That's it, folks. One thing, one thing, and we can do it ourselves. And if we do it effectively, we will have eliminated the third leading cause of death, maybe the first leading cause of death in this country, just like that, gone forever. Is that simple? Yes, because health is simple. They always, when I do a talk, when I do a presentation, I'm always asked, what, do I, what, what is the topic of your talk? What are you going to title it? I always say, health is simple. It is, you guys, it is. This is such good news. This is the bright side. This is the good news that says no matter what your chronic degenerative disease is, you can fix it yourself. And I think that is so darn exciting. 844-236-6010 is our number. Give me a call if you've got questions about health, nutrition, or prescription drugs. We want to help you change your life today. We're coming back on the Bright Side right after this. All right, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you if you want to change your life or change the lives of life of a loved one or family member or workmate, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, if you, if you think I'm missing something here, I'd love to hear what I'm missing because I can't figure it out. It seems very, very straightforward. If you got an issue, a health challenge that isn't getting better, a chronic degenerative disease, the chances are pretty darn good it's something you're doing every day on a regular basis. And I, it seems obvious to me. If it's progressively getting worse, it means we're doing something over and over and over again. Oh, what's the definition of doing something over and over again and expecting different results? Insanity, as you know. Do you know the best-selling drug, or the most widely prescribed drug, I should say, 
in this country is Synthroid or generic Synthroid, generic thyroid drug. Why? Because we have an epidemic of, of uh, thyroid disease. Why? Because everything is thyroid disease or hypothyroidism. Everything. Chronic degenerative disease is always preceded by and always leads to. It's a circle. It's preceded by and it leads to thyroid issues. It's preceded by hypothyroidism and it leads to more hypothyroidism, which leads to more chronic degenerative disease. And unless your doctor has been listening to the bright side, he has no idea why this is. But you do if you've been listening because we've been telling you for years. First, the digestive system gets whacked out. Then the blood sugar system gets whacked out. And then the thyroid, and the adrenal thyroid, I should say, the adrenal thyroid complex get whacked out, and then you're off to the disease races. And the disease itself causes more hypothyroidism, which leads to more chronic degenerative disease. But the beginnings of it are the digestive system and the blood sugar system always. It doesn't matter what your doctor told you about your blood sugar. If you have a CDD, a chronic degenerative disease, you have dysglycemia and a messed up digestive system pretty much by definition, which is the best news anybody with a health challenge can hear because who controls our blood sugar? Who controls our digestive system? We do. Simple as that, folks. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about inflammation and microinflammation as we continue talking about fats and the lymph, the fatty system of the body and the steroid system of the body and even the skin, which we haven't really talked about here lately, but we'll continue in the coming days on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Michigan. What's up, John? Welcome to the bright side. I wasn't calling about diabetes, but there's a gentleman in your state, Tom Smith, at Loveland, Colorado. He has a website, HealingMatters.com, and he gives a whole history of uh, uh, <clears throat> diabetes because he was told to go home and die, and he did the research and cured himself. Nice. He said, that uh, he says the orthodox medical community cannot afford to cure this disease. It's a, for, a financial backbone of the entire orthodox medical establishment. He is absolutely right on. I haven't heard of this guy. Healing. What, tell me the website again. Healingmatters.com. He's in Loveland, awesome. for uh, Colorado. Healing. I will reach. Yeah. I'll reach out to him. Thank that's, you for. That's, that's, everyone should read this whole thing because it'll really expose it. It originated as an epidemic in the 1920s, but it go on. But I was calling about this uh, methotrexate that my mother-in-law was on. Awful, for, awful, awful drug. One of the worst, and there's well, a lot of bad. Well, it ended up killing her, and the family sued and, and got a settlement from the doctor. Uh, really? Was, yes. Uh, this was uh, your mom. This was your mom. My you mother-in-law. Said? Your mother-in-law. And what? Now, tell, can I ask you a couple questions here? What? Uh, what was she taking? The, what was she given the methotrexate for? Oh, of course, it's the rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid, great. And, and so, and, for the listeners, that, let me just tell the listeners real quick. For the listeners, methotrexate is a drug that kills cells. Period. It's chemotherapy. It's used to kill cells, to kill cancer cells, but it'll kill any cell. Why they give it to you for rheumatoid is because it kills the immune system cells, so you don't have an immune problem, which is what rheumatoid is. It's the most. It, there's a lot of deadly toxic drugs near, or even maybe at the top of the list is methotrexate. Go ahead, well, I'm sorry. The why I, I brought that up is because your audience has to l hear this, that Glenn Fry's uh, died of complications from the medication. Uh, his manager came out and says that for 15 years he's been taking this. What has he been taking? Methotrexate? To manage his, uh, to manage. No, no, what, what drug? I, it doesn't say they call them DMARDs or biologic. They may make it sound like it's a really good thing, biologic. It was a biologic they were giving him for 15 years, like Humira yeah. or something like that? Well, there's Remicade, Embryl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, right, and, right. And, and they all have these, uh, that, uh, that says, uh, these side effects. Uh, uh, there's no benefit to the drug, but they, they end up with the issue uh, uh it slows the progression, but it doesn't. So it doesn't even slow. Symptoms. It stops the inflammation and the immune system. It shuts down immunity. It's the standard operating procedure from the medical model when it comes to immune diseases. Shut down the immune system. I was talking to a gal. I got a call from Israel yesterday from a gal who had ulcerative colitis, and she was given prednisone. And so I taught, I, she didn't know, I was telling her the whole thing, she, you know, other countries, they don't necessarily know some of the stuff we know, and she never hadn't heard about the immune system and anti-inflammatories and anti-immunity. So I told her, I said, they're suppressing your defense system. And I gave her a metaphor. I said, what if, what if an Arab country attacked, uh, your, uh, attacked Israel? You know, you got all these other countries that are attacking you. What if they, an Arab country attacked Israel and the prime minister said, okay, army, you're going to stand down now. Okay, defense department, you're going to stand down now. 
so there won't be any war. Of course there won't be any war because there's only one side fighting. But that's not going to help you. That's not going to help the problem. If you tell the Defense Department to stand down, she finally understood it because I put it in that, fr in that framework. And it's really that simple. If the body's being attacked, it will inflame. You can shut down the inflammation artificially, but the body's still being attacked. You haven't done anything about the attack. And that's the problem. We disguise the causes, and then we go ahead and do what we're told. And then we pay the price, like Glenn Fry. And I'm not surprised that you... I, I didn't know that. I hadn't heard that, John. Thank you for sharing that. But I'm not surprised that the drugs uh, uh, killed him, or at least uh, at least his manager thinks that. Anyway, anything else, John? Yes. Uh, uh, a friend of mine, his wife was killed by... Uh, or you know, She died from excessive prednisone. Or, her, her calcium was depleted. Uh, but what, what has to be... Uh, uh, exposed folks out there that are taking these drugs is none of these doctors link uh, diet to any of these conditions, which is disgusting. They think it's a joke. They think you're a yeah, wacko. You're a health right. nut it, wacko. It, and so your diet is critical. And, and um, again, I brought up Jordan Rubin last week. Uh, he cured himself yes. of the same symptoms and, yes. and conditions with uh, kefir, uh, which is yes. a fermented uh, milk, and right. also your, your fermented sauerkraut. Your stomach is uh, your most important, like you always say. The, the uh, intestine. The intestine, the digestive tract. And these intestine. doctors do not touch it at all. Uh, now the oncologists, they won't take the chemo, but they give it, and they don't talk diet at all. So <laughs> Glenn Fry's death should have opened the eyes to everybody with this rheumatoid and start questioning your doctors yes. and colitis and get this di your, your digestive system healed first before you try to do anything else. Wise words, John. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Healingmatters.com. Take care, brother. Thank you. All right, uh, Francis. What's up? Francis in Washington. Welcome to the Bright Side. Yes, I, uh, let's see, 30 days ago yesterday, I had a quadruple bypass. Okay. Five days later, I came home on New Year's Day, and he gives me this whole packet of drugs. <laughs> so I'm going through them here. How many? And one of and one is called Senna or something. Senna, S-E-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Yes, and that's the other lot, one That's is actually called, an herb. Okay, the other one is called Coreg. Coreg, yeah. You know what? Uh, we got to take a break. Can you hang on? Hang on yeah, through the break, okay? We'll get you when we come back. I'm Farms to Spend. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a break and come back with uh, more of your phone calls and, uh, and uh, Francis in Washington as well. Don't go away. Welcome back to the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're in Washington talking to Francis. Uh, Francis, Senna and Coreg was the last thing you said. Yeah, for, uh, quad bypass yeah, surgery. You sound good. Rate. You sound good, though. You sound, uh, you sound like you've got some strength there. Uh, Coreg and uh, Senna, and then what, you want to continue telling me the drugs? Or do you have, well, do you have... one's Lipitor, one's Aspirin, one's Oxycontin. And I do my usual research, and one of these, the first paragraph, first three sentences, causes renal failure, extreme liver damage, and okay. has something about death. More than likely the well, coreg. That's a beta blocker. Okay, that's... so I scroll down a little bit, and, you know, you got the little thing on the side there that tells you when you're at the bottom of the page or whatever. I'm not a third of the way down. Here's the exact same warning again for the same drug. You know, Francis, is this absurd? I mean, it's, it's tragic, it's absurd, and you gotta, you got to turn your radio down, though. i got a terrible echo, Francis. Uh, the radio's not on. It's oh, it's off. not on. Okay, well, maybe. So anyway, and I'm just thinking, you know, I'm lucky to get out of the hospital without staff, without anything else, whatever. Right. So, and I never get tits. I came home, I had 35 zits from my waist to my scapula. So I immediately get on 10 gallons of uh, distilled water. I haven't taken a pill. I got all their poison pumped out of me. <laughs> and uh, it's been 30 days yesterday since I had the operation. I feel fine. So You're you know, awesome, Francis. That's a great story. Hey, listen, Francis, do me a favor, man. If you'll send an email to ben at ksco.com uh, and put your mailing address, I'm going to send you out a free Beyond Tangy Tangerine on me. All right? You'll do... Uh, you'll... Yeah, I don't do mail. Why don't you give it to somebody else that really needs right. it, man? I, okay. I appreciate your... I appreciate it. Have a good year. God bless you, my friend. Take care. Good luck with everything, too, at the bypass surgery. Quadruple bypass. Oh, my goodness. Socrates, what's up, man? Socrates in New Hampshire. 
been. Uh, I, you, I called last week because I I believe that we diagnosed that probably my immune system was weakest um, and because I was had insomnia. 